There once was a man named Thorstein. Thorstein lived at Borg, in the Borgafjord. He was a rich and notable chieftain, wise, gentle, and just in all things. While he was not as great in stature and strength as his father Eagle, he was handsome and fair-haired. Thorstein and his wife Jofrid had many children, though few come into this saga. One summer a ship had come from Norway. The captain of the ship was a man named Bergfinn. Bergfinn had asked to stay with Thorstein during the time he was in Iceland. Thorstein looked well after him. One day in the spring, Thorstein asked Bergfinn if he would like to ride with him up to the Valfiel. This is where the men of the Borgafjord had their assembly. Thorstein told Bergfinn that the walls of his booth had collapsed. Bergfinn came with, and so the two of them and Thorstein's Huskarls rode to Valfiel. There they got to work on the booth. Once the walls of the booth were finished, Thorstein rested. Bergfinn could see Thorstein was restless, but he let him finish his dream. Once Thorstein woke, Bergfinn could see that he was in distress. What did you dream? asked Bergfinn. Thorstein looked at him. Dreams have no meaning, he said. The Norwegian asked Thorstein once again what he had dreamt. Thorstein said he would tell the Norwegian, but only if he told him what the dream meant. Bergfinn said he would do his best. In my dream, I seemed to be home at Borg, standing outside and in front of the main doorway, and up on the roofridge of the house I saw a swan, a beautiful swan. I felt she was mine, and I prized her highly. Then I saw a big eagle flying down from the mountains. He flew towards us and settled beside the swan and chattered gently to her. The swan seemed well pleased. The eagle's eyes were black and its claws of iron. Then I saw another bird flying from the south. He landed on the house beside the swan and tried to win her favor. The first eagle became very angry once the other had arrived and they fought. It ended with both of the eagles killing each other. The swan seemed heartbroken. Then came a falcon, and was gentle with her. Then they flew off together from the same direction the falcon had come from. After that I woke up. The Norwegian sat for a while, thinking, Those birds must have been people's wraiths. Your wife is bearing a child, and she will give birth to a fine, beautiful baby girl, and you will love her dearly. Men will come to your daughter. They will want to marry her. Their love for her will be beyond all reason, and they will fight over her. And both of them will die because of this. Then a third man will come and woo her, and she will marry him. Thorstein looked at the Norwegian, a tint of anger across his face. Your interpretation of the dream is spiteful and unfriendly. You know nothing of interpreting dreams, said Thorstein. The Norwegian then says, You will find that it will come true, Thorstein. Thorstein then stops being friendly to the Norwegian. And thus Bergfinn leaves in summer and will not return in our saga. <laughs>